My problem isn't what to talk about. My problem isn't trying to find enough to cover. My problem is trying to focus all of the information and try to break it all down. It is the 26th day already of January 2014. We're going to be here as we are every Sunday live, 4 to 6 p.m. Central. Due to all the global warming, I was not here Friday because to drive into town when you have an ice sheet on the roads where it only happens every two or three years in the past in Austin, the public does not know how to drive on ice. It's kind of like Native Americans coming in contact with smallpox. 90 plus percent would die, but only a few percent of Europeans would die from it. I liken it to the same thing. It is crash up derby. Crash up derby everywhere. Uh, in fact, it, it froze up Thursday night. I was driving home from work at 8 o'clock and went over some overpasses that were frozen, black ice, and saw cars just smashing and crashing everywhere uh, because they hit it and feel their car move and they slam on their brakes and the car turns sideways and crashes. I'm not good on driving on ice like they are in Chicago or uh, places like Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Minnesota, but I'm better than Austinites and all the Californians that have moved here and others who never deal with snow and ice. I grew up in Dallas where... Four or five times a year, it would ice up all over the highways and learn how to drive on it. But uh, I, I just I just was not going to do the death race uh, to come in here Sunday. I mean, come in here um, Friday because a lot of my crew lives in North Austin. I was not about to have them run the gauntlet of driving 20 miles through road warrior level car crashes. I mean, every side street, every overpass, they're still fishing cars out of the, the bushes. I was driving over by my parents that live in South Austin. Uh, yesterday with my kids and there was just smash cars everywhere and it's an example of how the american people have lived in liberty so long we haven't been perfect but compared to other countries we were the highest rated for freedom until the last few decades now we're way down the chart and listed as a tyranny by most major universities you can look that up uh, but um, we're not accustomed to tyranny and hardcore corruption running rampant and so it's almost like we don't have an immune system to it and have been taught for decades uh, that you know, no corruption exists in government. Corruption is only in the individual. No corruption exists anywhere. There's no secret plans. There's no corrupt groups. You know, there's nothing behind Enron doubling and tripling power prices. Of course, it came out that there was. And with Al Gore, they drew up the plan for worldwide robbery called the carbon tax. But alas, I digress. I am here and I am live and there is no ice on the roads. In fact, uh, it, it, it vanished uh, the next afternoon uh, like, like vampires at high noon uh, when it went up to 65 degrees. It was 70 degrees today, and I went for a little swim uh, at the local watering hole at the local uh, Barton Springs area, and it was, uh, it was nice to be able to swim a couple laps uh, in the 70-degree broad daylight sun. Now, here's the deal. Huge broadcast lined up today. Uh, when I say I don't feel worthy to bring you this information, there are so many facets, so many angles. I'm just going to try to do the best I can. But it is amazing what we're dealing with. Uh, Obama has launched a chilling purge against political enemies. That is red linked on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. I worked on this story yesterday with Paul Watson. He published it this morning. Uh, no rest for those that don't want to be slaves, I can tell you. Why do I work a lot of times at 10 o'clock at night, like I did Friday night, putting up a video about the emergency situation? Because I can feel the, the, the tyrant's breath on my neck. If you study history, folks, this is, this is cancer. We know what this is. Emergency, Obama has launched purge. That ties into Homeland Security Secretary. Illegals have right to be citizens. Obama will legalize them by dictatorial fiat. That ties into a huge news on the uh, NSA front. Several states considering NSA nullifying bills. NSA also serves as economic interest, giving data to select corporations, Snowden says. Told you that many years ago. Um, we just got so much coming up today. You'll want to stay with us on the economic front especially. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? 
fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Renewed hostile actions against United States ships on the high seas in the Gulf of Tonkin have today required me to order the military forces of the United States to take action in reply. Dr. Martin Luther King, the apostle of nonviolence in the civil rights movement, has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. Senator Kennedy has been shot. Is that possible? He still has the gun. The gun is pointed at me right at this moment. People calling themselves members of the Weather Underground last night planted bombs in federal office buildings in Washington and Oakland, California. They took the babies out of the incubators and left the children to die on the cold floor. Survivors of the USS Liberty are demanding a congressional investigation into what happened and acknowledgement that the Israeli Air Force bombed a U.S. intelligence Navy ship. The death of bin Laden marks the most significant achievement to date in our nation's effort to defeat al-Qaeda. The Taliban is taking responsibility for shooting down a U.S. helicopter. More than 30 people were killed, and there are reports this morning that most of them are U.S. Navy SEALs. There may be a false flag incident where some uh, ship goes down and you be used for the excuse to accelerate the next war. If there's one thing that has unified Democrats and Republicans and everybody in between, is that we all hated the bank bailout. The Department of Homeland Security is apparently on a huge ammo buying spree. It comes out to like 1.6 billion rounds of ammunition. Today, it is infinitely easier to kill a million people than to control a million people. They estimated that they would have to eliminate 25 million people in these re-education centers. And when I say eliminate, I mean kill. I'm here to warn people. You keep telling me to shut up. This isn't a game. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. And it is the 26th day of January 2014. I am your host, Alex Jones, and we're here every Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, going out nationwide. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, let me just give you the headlines here. Obama launches chilling purge against political enemies. That's our top story. We're going to be breaking it down in great detail coming up first here in just a few minutes. That ties into Homeland Security Secretary. Illegals have earned a right to be citizens. That's a quote. Bloomberg reports Obama's plan to use executive action triggers criticism. It should trigger impeachment. Here's the Associated Press. White House warns Obama could go around Congress. This is unprecedented tyranny. This is un. Unprecedented tyranny. Thank you so much again for joining us on this Sunday Worldwide Edition. I am your host, Alex Jones. The websites are Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. You can follow us on Twitter at Real Alex Jones. So if you just joined us, Obama launches chilling purge against political enemies. This is going to be our top story. I cannot even believe how brazen this is. And I shot an emergency video Friday night. Uh, or Thursday night, uh, when I first learned of this, we have a new article out today at Infowars.com. Obama launches chilling purge against political enemies. Dinesh D'Souza, uh, one of the greatest documentary filmmakers of all time, second highest grossing, and of course the uh, former governor of Virginia, McDonald, uh, have both pled not guilty, but have been charged literally on stuff that is one one ten thousandth what Obama openly does, and it's questionable if, if even an ethics committee uh, would, would, would get them in trouble for what they've done. I mean, it is incredible. And, and again, I'm nonpartisan, folks. I was a big critic of Bush. 
If I saw Democrats being persecuted like this, like Nixon was doing, but he was doing, again, one one thousandth on the case of Nixon, what Obama's doing. If I saw something like this, I would come out against the Republicans. No one is safe when they can persecute a group like this. This is how history works. In fact, what's the famous quote by the uh, preacher uh, in England uh, when they came for the workers? I wasn't a worker. When they came for the socialists, I wasn't a socialist. When they came for the Jews, I wasn't a socialist. You know, when they uh, came for the uh, Catholics, I wasn't a Catholic. When they came for me, there was nobody left there to stand up for me. You know, to paraphrase that famous quote, that's where all this is going. This is so incredible. I have trouble believing it's even moving this fast. So that is coming up, along with Obama announcing he's basically a dictator. Uh, George Soros is over at the Davos meeting, uh, and Soros and Libs have been meeting with John McCain over there. Uh, and they say cutting off the NSA will imperil Cherish New Deal. Uh, and it says, beware of libertarians bearing gifts. A new way to curb the NSA is a Trojan horse for destroying the New Deal. That's right. We need to have total lawless spying or it'll destroy the wonderful communism that's wrecking the country and the socialism that the big billionaires are exempt from. Why does Warren Buffett lobby tens of millions a year on record? Paying for news shows, paying for full page ads, lobbying Congress to raise taxes on the middle class because he's the biggest recipient of banker bailout money and corporate welfare in the nation. The biggest individual person. He, he got $45 billion in 2008 of bailout money alone. His company's $400 billion of it. Look it up. It's in McClatchy, AP, Reuters. Just type in Warren Buffett, biggest recipient of bailout. And he's the biggest person lobbying. If you make $100,000 a year, folks, he wants your money because he's a disgusting pirate. But he's liberal and hangs out with Obama, so it makes it okay. And in almost every photo op, he eats an ice cream. They go, look, I'm a, I'm a harmless old man. I wonder if I, could you walk in a bank with a machine gun and say, put all the money in the bag of your dead, but have an ice cream cone? And then if you were licking it, it would make it okay? I, I think it probably would. If the cops showed up and said, come out, you know, and they had the bullhorn, come out or we're going to fire tear gas, and you just go, uh, ice cream cone. And just like in uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, the first one, when he's running through the jungle and the bad guy gets the idol and holds it up to the natives and they all bow down, you just hold up an ice cream cone or hold up a puppy or say you're liberal or call someone racist or, you know, have Obama be supposedly half black. And so it's okay. You, you, you know, he, he's, he's half black, so you got to let him do whatever he wants. I'm not joking about Warren Buffett. Type in Warren Buffett into Google, click images. Most of them are him eating an ice cream cone. Hundreds of photos. In fact, in fact it's, it's worse than that. It's got to be thousands. I've done a whole report on it two years ago, just, just showing thousands of the photos, whole, whole screenshots of just full pages uh, of the photos of uh, him with ice cream cones. I mean, this is a complete joke, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm telling you, if Hitler wore a pink uniform and ate ice cream cones constantly, he would, we, we would all be speaking German right now. I'm serious. I'm serious, folks. That's why they act like liberals and prance around going, uh, uh, liberal. There's nothing liberal about them. They're savage beasts, savage, rapacious, piratical enemies. So that's coming up. Also, uh, swarms of drones could be next frontier in emergency response. NBC News to watch farmers and others for the environment. Oh, and guess what? There's been a decade-long secret program they're now admitting. Oh, remember us being discredited telling you that three years ago? And remember what I told you more than a decade ago? It's in the Washington Post today. Here it is. Isn't it just sweet? Blimp-like surveillance craft set to deploy over Maryland. Heighten privacy concerns. The Army's going to launch giant drones to look out for cruise missiles. Sure, like the radar wouldn't pick those up. This is pure surveillance. And they, and they said, I first learned of this in 1992, watching Alexander Haig's news hour he had on cable, where he said they're going to have all the telecommunications on blimps and surveil everyone with ground penetrating radar looking through your houses. This was on cable in Austin. I would get home after I went to the gym at like 6 o'clock every night, and I'd watch C-SPAN or that before I went out with friends, you know, and played basketball or pool or took the ladies out. And I was just into politics, and I would watch him just admit the whole world got